Hi, this is Jayashree. Today I'm going to show you a demo of our work on finding crash consistency bugs with bounded black box crash testing, in short, B-Cube. This work will appear at OSDI 18. B-Cube is a new approach to testing file system crash consistency. We built two tools, ACE and CrashMonkey, to demonstrate the effectiveness of B-Cube. ACE exhaustively generates workloads in a bounded space, while CrashMonkey provides the infrastructure to simulate crashes and automatically test for consistency. With this brief introduction, let's get started with the demo. For the purpose of this demo, we consider a small workload space consisting of just two system calls, link and fallocate. We consider a small file set of just two files. We also allow two types of persistence operations in our workload, sync and fsync. ACE exhaustively generates workloads of length 1 within this bound. We call this the sequence 1 workloads. ACE has generated 9 workloads in total and is done with compilation now. We are testing these workloads on 100 MB ButterFS file system on Linux kernel 4.16. We see that a couple of tests have passed and here comes our first bug. This bug has resulted in the loss of allocated blocks. If the file system recovered correctly, we should have seen 128 blocks. But in reality, ButterFS loses the newly allocated blocks beyond the end of the file and recovers to only 64 blocks. We now see another bug where the link count of the file has not been incremented. What happens here is that you create a link to a file, persist it and then crash. When you recover, you expect the link to be persisted with a count of 2, while ButterFS does not do that. It instead recovers the file to a link count of 1. So the testing is now complete. Let's look at the summary. Workload generation to testing has taken about 71 seconds. It has found three bugs, all of which result in metadata mismatch. We tested a restricted set of workloads for the sake of a quick demo. But the repository contains a pre-generated suite of 328 sequence 1 workloads which can be tested using a single line command. We highly encourage you to give it a try. We also have tutorial on workload generation and testing. Do download our tools and test your file system for crash consistency. Thanks for watching.